Uh, meanwhile, the Senate has passed this $250 billion tech and manufacturing bill aimed at countering China. The bipartisan vote 68 to 32. Yeah, it's still possible. The legislation called the U.S. Innovation and Competition Act includes funding for domestic semiconductor manufacturing and securing supply chains. All kinds of statements, Jim, last night from the Venture Capital Association right. and the semiconductor manufacturers um, about how this is a good thing. Uh, not everyone agrees. Do you... Sometimes, Eunice Yu, I think, by, by the way, has been up for about 49 hours straight, right? Because it doesn't matter. But Eunice had a report this morning on why, why exchange where uh, she said that the Chinese are furious about this. They just cannot believe that we're trying to be competitive. And what? What? <laughs> What's wrong? They can't. Your they phrasing think, was, was interesting. Well, they think, they think it's good. Listen right. to her. I mean, now, of course, they're black. You can say out right now when we do this. But... They don't like this. They think that they are, they, they've been fair. Why are we targeting them? Of course, I had Bobby Kotick on last night, uh, 30 years now running Activision Blizzard. Wow, He's 30 years. 30 years. He's very, he took a pay cut, by the way. Still a board member of Coke, I believe. Oh, you well, betcha. Coke, you Coke. betcha. They've got as, almost as many uh, sell, uh, games being played as our countries in uh, Coke, you know, Coke yep. holes everywhere. But, you know, we're talking about competitiveness and how we can't be competitive with more things like this. And that's what the Chinese are against, our, our attempts to become competitive. And if we got Secretary Raimondo on here, who's unbelievable from the Commerce Department, remember Commerce just used to issue some facts like every other week? This, just, Gina Raimondo is actually trying to change this. But the Chinese are worried that we are actually doing this. Yeah, uh, we're, we're launching trade talks with Taiwan. Obviously, the Wuhan lab story continues to bubble. And now wow. the president, Jim, going to the EU, there's more discussion that they are looking to remove the aluminum and steel tariffs by next week, this draft document, uh, maybe ending this Boeing Airbus saga once and for all. Oh, well, that would be good. Although the devastating report we had, an interview uh, Air Lease, I don't know if you caught that this morning. I saw some of it, not all of it. With, with Phil LeBeau, um, how the manufacturing snafus at Boeing are, 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 are just, just terrible. And when you listen to it, you don't feel very proud. And Boeing is a great American company that has really stumbled. And that's what, that's what the guest said. And I, I have to tell you, I, I look, my charitable trust owns it. But when you listen, and, you know, Phil, of course, is the best. I'm just getting some of the things. Um, it's uh, Udar Hazy, and he's been yep. on Mad Money. He pulls no punches. And basically, he's just saying that we can't make them like we used to. And it was a very, I mean, my father always told me about when you always zeros, or always zeros above him. And then suddenly there was a silver plane, the B-29. And he knew we were going to win the war after having a lot of, losing a lot of guys in his outfit. That's not the Boeing we're seeing now. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.